You ever find that your Wi-Fi and cellular connection speeds just seem kind of slow? Well, introducing Wi-Fi AR, an augmented reality-based application that allows you to analyze your network connections in real time. You essentially just hold your phone in front of you and walk around the area that you're trying to analyze, and then the app will visually show you in real time where the strongest signal areas are. And that is just one of 10 incredible Android applications that you can use to seriously level up your phone's functionality. Let's dive in. Now, if you've ever dabbled in the world of using apps that require ADB permissions, which by the way, are often some of the most useful apps available, then you'll know how tedious it can be having to grant each individual app the permissions using your computer. And so that's where Shizuku comes in. This is an app that has been designed to essentially act as the middleman. The idea is that you first grant ADB permissions to Shizuku using your computer, but then from that point onwards, any supported apps you use in the future that also require ADB permissions, you can grant them right from your phone using Shizuku instead. Now, as I said, an app has to actually support the use of Shizuku for this to work. So unfortunately, a lot of older ADB required apps don't work, but if you're interested in finding out which ones do support it, there's a full list of them, which I will leave linked down below. And one such app that does support the use of Shizuku is called James DSP, which is a pretty neat application that can essentially enhance any audio playing on your phone. There are a stack of settings to play around with, a lot of which my non-audiophile brain does not comprehend, but with the right settings applied, you can basically make any phone speakers sound exactly how you want them to. Now, unfortunately, the app doesn't work with Spotify unless you use the revanced version, but it does support apps like YouTube, YouTube Music, PowerAmp, plus a stack more as well. Then we have Anua, and this is another app that can take advantage of Shizuku, although it definitely doesn't need to, but it is a really powerful app manager and analyzer application that offers a huge amount of functionality. On the app's main screen, you will see shortcuts to a bunch of different tools related to the apps installed on your phone, including viewing each of your installed apps in a neat organized list. There's a terminal emulator, usage stats for each app, and there's even an entire section dedicated to performing different batch actions for groups of selected apps. So you can batch uninstall them, batch extract their APKs, batch extract data about each app, and with ADB permissions granted via Shizuku, you can even batch change their battery optimization settings. There's also a bunch of other features as well, plus the design of the app is one of the best I've ever come across. Following that is OneEdge, and this is a floating window edge panels application, similar to the edge panels feature found on Samsung phones, but it's arguably quite a bit more functional and it has a better design too. With the app set up and activated, you'll then see this little indicator on the side of your display and you just swipe on that to open up the panel. You can then swipe through each of the panels available, which by default includes app shortcuts, a timer, a compass and a ruler combined, plus a drinking water reminder, which has this really cool animation that fills up whenever you press this button to indicate you have indeed drunk some water. And then if you dive into the settings, you can also activate some other panels, plus customize how the panel itself behaves. It's also completely free and works beautifully in conjunction with Android system back gesture, which is amazing. And you know what else is an app that will level up not only your smartphone experience, but your entire IT experience? Today's video sponsor, Pulseway. Pulseway is a revolutionary remote monitoring and management software for IT professionals, and it gives you the power to be in command of your systems from any location, on any device, and at any time. You get real-time notifications that allow you to troubleshoot issues remotely. And then on top of that, it's also recognized as a leading platform in IT automation, offering a huge range of tools to transform the way that you work. So you can set up automations to put repetitive issues and tasks on autopilot. You can use their auto remediation and customize scripts tools to maximize productivity. Plus there's a bunch more to go with as well. And so it's fair to say that using this tool will essentially allow you to say goodbye to mundane IT tasks forever. And the best part is that you can try it completely for free, no commitments whatsoever. So to start saving time by optimizing your productivity all whilst keeping your users happy, then make sure you check out Pulseway by using the first link below. All right, 
right, switching things up now. And the next app on the list today is called Micro Gesture, which can essentially up your phone's functionality tenfold. With the app installed and enabled, you have the option of setting up a range of gestures to launch a huge number of actions. For example, I can navigate back by simply twisting my phone, or I can open up my recents page by rotating my phone to the side like this, or I can even open up any app of my choosing by tilting my phone backwards like this. But then I can set up even more granular gestures if I like to launch even more actions. And so this makes it a seriously handy tool worth trying out. But then to take that a stage further, we have an application called Gesture Suite. In short, the app allows you to set up essentially unlimited actions that can then be triggered via custom gestures and shortcuts. Whether you wanna open up the camera app by drawing the letter C, or start a sound recording by waving your hand twice, or perhaps you want your flashlight to come on whenever you shake your phone. Well, all of that and more can be set up using this very app. And honestly, you put Micro Gesture and Gesture Suite together, and we're talking crazy levels of functionality unlocked. Then we have Media Bar, and this is a really neat little application that transforms your phone's status bar into a fully functional media playback controller. So whether you're listening to your favorite track or perhaps a podcast, or even if you're watching a video, not only will the progress of that media become visible on top of or below your status bar, but you can even scrub through whatever is playing by swiping left or right. There's also a bunch of customizations available to go with, which is fantastic. Second to last, we have an application called App Swap Draw, which basically lets you take the functionality of your phone's app drawer to another level altogether. It's essentially a separate standalone app drawer. However, what makes it so great is that you can also customize it really, really heavily. For example, you could hide everything but only your most used applications, then set up a widget with a custom icon to launch into the app, and then all of a sudden, you've got access to your favorite apps within essentially a customized folder, which is perfect for those of us using phones that don't allow for custom icon theme. There's also a stack of other features and customizations to go with, including sorting your apps by icon color, which looks really cool. And finally today, we have a super simple yet amazingly useful application called Waver. With the app installed and activated, anytime you want your phone to wake up to show the time or to show your notifications in more detail, instead of having to tap your phone's power button, you can just wave your hand over it instead, and there you go. You can also use it the other way around as well to lock your phone by simply waving your hand over it. And even better than that is that as long as you set the battery optimization setting to unrestricted, the app works pretty much flawlessly. And so there you have it, 10 applications that have the potential to seriously level up your entire smartphone experience. If you enjoyed the video, then a sub would be greatly appreciated. But aside from that, thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.